Hi there, welcome to Kevy Shaves. Nice to see you. It's a new decade, it's a new year. Very happy new year to you. Happy 2020, I hope uh, you all have a wonderful year and I wish you all the best, uh, good health, and um, yeah, I hope it's a very prosperous year for you too. Uh, right, okay, I'm gonna explain what happened. I know in the last video I said I might do a live shave on New Year's Eve. Uh, depending on what happens with family stuff and that. And I said, if not, I'll see you on New Year's Day for a shave. Well, New Year's uh, Eve, we uh, got invited down to Mrs. Kevy's brother's. So we went down there um, and the time I got home, it was kind of late, too late to kind of have, have a shave. So I thought, right, okay, I'll get up early the next day, New Year's Day, I'll have a shave. Things didn't go to plan. <laughs> um, we got invited somewhere else, so I, I didn't have time to film and upload and stuff, edit and stuff like that. So uh, apologies if you've been waiting on a video. So I'm here today uh, to make this one now. I've got time. Uh, I've been sent some new stuff, which I'm gonna show you now. Uh, but uh, yeah, so that's the explanation out of the way. Okay, let me show you what we are using. Well, a new year, um, is time to look back and reflect on the past and also to look forward to the future. Uh, what's going to happen? Who knows? We don't know what's going to happen, but there certainly will be uh, things to celebrate. Um, and one of them, well, two of them joined together, looking back and reflecting. I was sent a, a head of a razor from Jan. Jan's in the Netherlands and he said, Do you have, have you ever tried a, a Gillette new? Uh, open comb. I said, no, I've never tried one. He says, I've got a spare one. It's not in the best of shape, but I'll send it to you. So here it's here. Uh, this is the head. This is from the 1930s. I think this is the long comb. Uh, let me just show you it there. It's uh, made in England, yes. A little bit scratched up and stuff like that, but that's okay. It still works. Uh, and there's the base cap there. And I'll just turn that over. And as you can see, it says there, you can see it this side, made in England, and on that side, Gillette. So thank you, Jan. That's uh, the nod to the past, the Gillette new. And the handle that would have came with, um, this is the nod to the future. Uh, this is the handle from the Gillette, the new Gillette Heritage razor. So that's going to go onto that. Let me just put the little plastic washer that I use. I'll put that on there. I'll put the blade in there in a second. I'll show you the blades and stuff like that. So that's that's kind of what the razor would have looked like back in the 1930s. It might have been gold. I think it was gold actually, but it would have had this kind of handle on it. Very, very similar to this. So that's what I'm going to be using today. The brush I'm going to be using, I haven't used this for a long, long time. Someone mentioned it in one of the comments of the videos uh, that they'd bought one. I thought, I haven't used that in a long time, and it's the, the Yaki 24mm uh, Silver Tip Badger. Yeah, I've not used this in a long time. A great brush, very soft. Uh, that's without it even being soaked. So uh, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to soak that in the, the new Super, Sopa, su super Soaker from, uh, this was a gift from Johnny in Mexico. Thank you, Johnny. Yeah, so I'm just going to fill it up with water. I'll put the brush in there, look, a perfect, perfect size. Yeah, look, so it just sits in there. So that's good. Some of the water spilled out there. So that will just sit there soaking as I get to the rest of the shave. Right, okay, the blade I'm going to put in that, and the soap I'm going to be using is, uh, well, it's a soap from Portugal. Uh, I was sent the soap uh, from, and I'm sorry if I'm butchering your name, Zhao. Zhao is a, he works for a company called The Black Frog House. Uh, and here is his card. There, uh, Zhao Barros Lima. Uh, he sent me this soap. Now this is a, a Portuguese soap. You might have seen a cream made by this uh, company. It's, it's made by Ach Brito. Ach Brito. Uh, and the soap's called Mogno, and it looks like a bath soap, it looks like a, a bath soap, sorry. Um, here it is here. 
Uh, you can see on there, a uh, Brito. Now the, these guys, you, you might have seen a, a, a lavender shave cream. Similar kind of packaging to this in a tube. But the scent on this soap is, uh, it's, it's got a, an aquatic scent with a little bit of woods in it. Very clean scent, very nice actually. Um, yeah, but it looks like a bath soap, but it is for shaving. Uh, it says it on the front there. Mogno shave soap, shaving soap. I'll give you a look at the back. Uh, uh, where's the ingredients? Here's the ingredients, right there. Yeah, so that's the soap and that's the brush razor. Now you also sent me a couple of packs of blade. Z, blade, z. <laughs> um, I can't remember, I, I think I've tried these before. The Lord Super Chrome, maybe not. But I'm pretty sure I've had some of these, but I can't remember if I've used them on camera. But you also sent me these. Uh, Bluebird, which I know I haven't used. I've never used these. Um, so, as I always say, the only way to find out if a blade is good or bad for you, if it works in a certain razor, is to try it out for yourself. I always say that. You know, people have opinions about blades and stuff like that. Uh, yeah, there's nothing on it. I've, I've kind of looked online and some people have said that they're made by uh, Darby, but they're much better than Darby blades. So um, if anyone's used these, let me know what you think. And I'll tell you what I think of them once I use them. So here's the package in here. Now the thing someone said online was, uh, these blades are chromium, ceramic, platinum, tungsten, polymer coated edges uh, and they said that the only other blade with that is a feather blade so I don't know there's the blade there bluebird high stainless so I shall put that into the razor just pop that on there yeah look these uh, tabs on these old heads are fantastic base cap on, put a little plastic washer and a lot of people have asked uh, about this plastic washer every time you use it wh uh, where do you get them if you search on eBay for plastic washer size M5 M for Mike M5 uh, there's the blade all loaded up in this razor yeah beautifully symmetrical really nice that's it there Okay, so that's the soap. Now, this company, uh, the Black Frog House, Zhao has said, uh, take a look at the website, I'll put links for everything in the description, as I always do, uh, and if there's anything that catches your eye, uh, there's a code that you can use, uh, a special promotion code, and it's Kevy Shaves 15 I'll put that on the screen just now, uh, and if you use that code, you'll get 15% off anything you buy, they do like brushes and perfumes and aftershaves and stuff like that. They do um, some old stuff uh, from Portugal, I think, stuff like that. So, yeah, take a look at it, check it out. If there's anything that catches your eye, use that code KEVYSHAVES15 and that will get you 15% off. I don't know how long that will last, but um, if you use it, he said that there's a, if you use that code, you'll get the money off. I don't know. I'm just uh, passing on the information. Yeah, this, uh, this soap, it's quite cheap. It's only about six euros, which is about, I don't know, six dollars, something like that. I'm not sure. I'm not sure how to actually apply this, whether I should just do it with a brush or just use it like a shave stick. Yes, yeah, it's a very nice smell, kind of aquatic. I think I'll just, uh, just put it on a face like that. Okay, let me wet the face. So how was your New Year's? Celebrations. Ours was good. Uh, good time. New Year's Day. Yeah, I'm just going to apply this like this. New Year's Day, we went to my or our niece's house, and it was her son's ninth birthday. Yeah, so he was born on the first of the first. 
11. 1, 1, 1, 1, 1. So, um, yeah, we went there. It was more, I think there was more adults there than, than kids, actually. <laughs> he had some of his little buddies there, but um, I'll just wet the soap a little bit more. Yeah, it was good catching up with family and stuff like that. Just wear that again. Right, if we need to get more soap, we will. So there's the soap there. Let's put that down there. Wet this brush. Give it a shake. There we go. We'll just see how this lathers up. Yeah, I don't know what to expect from this soap. Jal said it was very good, so. This brush is very soft, it's quite a dusty soap. That's better, there you go. Yeah, coming to life now. Yeah, so what are your uh, New Year resolutions? Do you make any? What? You're not going to buy any more shave gear? <laughs> yeah! Yeah! What, you've got enough soaps? <laughs> yeah! <laughs> more water to the brush. Yeah, I've not used this brush in a long, long time. There you go, you can see it's easily whipped up that soap. Just going to add some more water to this. Is it just um is it just people my age and you know how old I am right 26 yeah um <laughs> as you get older more water in the brush wow as you get older uh the people all over the world say ah the new year it's not the same as it used to be <laughs> yeah that's right it's not the same Nothing's the same as it used to be, is it? No. Yeah, I also um, talked to my production crew about um, uh, New Year's resolutions and uh, we're going to make these videos now a um, maximum of 12 minutes. So uh, as soon as it hits 12 minutes it'll just stop. Everything will uh, freeze and that'll be it. But as you know, New Year resolutions don't last <laughs> 12 minutes. A tiny more bit of water. I'll tell you what, this could take a lot of water. Excellent soap. Yeah, look at that brush. Absolutely packed. Full of soap. Okay, let's get uh, cleaned up a little bit before we start to shave. So I'm heating the blade. And we'll go with the uh, the Bluebird blade in the Gillette New with the Gillette Heritage handle. Look at that. That looks great. Okay, here we go. That feels nice. That 
blade feels sharp. But smooth at the same time. I, I think that's amazing. This this the head of this razor, 80, 80 odd years old, and still shaving. Shaving like a dream. Yeah, the only things with, with uh, open comb razors, I tend to get little weepers with them. I don't know why. But they always uh, give me little weepers. There's a little bit of uh, overhang on this razor, as there is with all the old uh, vintage Gillette ones. The tabs sticking out at the side. Uh, so I'm going to focus. There we go, yeah, you can see that there, look, just sticking out of the sides. So just be careful. If there's any uh, newcomers to wet shaving, if you've just got some new wet shaving gear for Christmas, and you're watching this channel for the first time, welcome to the Kevy Shaves Nut House. There's a lot goes on in here. <laughs> I've, just, I've just had a thought of saying what happens in the Kevy Shaves bathroom stays in the Kevy Shaves bathroom. That blade feels nice. The bluebird. Yeah, not a blade I've. Uh, I'm sure I've seen it before, but. I don't hear many people uh, talking about them. Good slickness on that soap. Test it, test it. Yeah, feels great. Okay, let me rinse, I'll come back for pass number two. Okay, rinsed off. Yeah, look, a couple of weepers here. Always happens with open comb razors. I don't know, we'll keep going. Look at this uh, lather, the soap. Right, so if you're new to this way of wet shaving, this way of shaving, sorry, if you're new to wet shaving, if you've got some uh, new, new gear for Christmas, what did you get? And uh, how have your shaves been going? Have you been watching videos and uh, trying to pick up some tips? Nick Shaves. Nick Shaves is back making videos. How good is that? Yeah, before I started wet shaving, Nick Shaves was uh, the guy I always watched. Um, his videos are legendary. Okay, second pass across the growth. Um, and he's... Uh, Nick has been busy with family life and his, his career. Uh, he and his wife have got a little baby. I think it's a boy. Is that a boy? I guess. Yeah, 
here from the brush. Yeah, so he's been a uh, busy with that at his career. But he's back. Back making YouTube videos, which is great. See these little weepers, and also Geo Fat Boy just celebrated 10 years of uh, making videos and stuff like that. So, good stuff. There's lots of people to watch on YouTube, all good. They all bring something different to this work shaving world. Some videos are longer than others. <laughs> yeah, there really is. Um, if you're just starting out wet shaving, there's so much choice just now. Not in, obviously in terms of products and that as well, but. Um, like videos and tutorials and stuff like that. There's so much out there. Guys on YouTube. Yeah, look at these weepers. Happens all the time with this, uh, with an open comb razor. And I don't know why, it's just always in this little trouble spot. Okay, second pass done. Only have a rinse of combat for pass number three. Rinsing with cold, 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 icy cold Scottish water. Okay, you rinsed off. Yeah, I need a haircut, I know. Look at that mess. Right, third pass. Still plenty of moisture in this uh, soap. Very good. Right, if someone knows, how do you pronounce this soap? Ach Brito, Ach Brito. I don't know. It's Portuguese, so it's probably something completely different. Right, third pass. With the Gillette New. From the 1930s, the Gillette Heritage from the 2000s with handle. Yeah, that blade does feel sharp. It feels, uh, is it getting towards feather sharp? It might actually be feather sharp, but it doesn't feel um, on the first use as rough. Sometimes a feather blade can feel a little bit um, rough. Look at this. Yeah, well I think we'll get the alum, alum block to see how close this has actually shaved. Still, uh, uh, yeah, despite this, it feels very comfy. Yeah, look under here as well.
Look at that. Look at that. I've got chicken pox <laughs> up here as well. Wow. Three passes done. Got the feel. Hardly, hardly anything to pick up a tiny little bit there. Another quick rinse. Yeah, that's all there is. Just that little bit there. Probably here. Right. I'm gonna rinse with cold water. Rinse with cold. Allen block, leave that dry. And then just uh, rub it on here. Okay. Yep, there's a little bit of a sting down here where these little weepers are. And down here as well. Yeah, mainly on the neck. Nothing at all on the face. Yeah, just on this neck. Just down here in this little trouble spot. And a little bit down this jawline, you can feel it. Just where these little weepers are, but this, uh, the arm will sort this out. Right. I'll leave this on for a couple of minutes, let it do its thing. I'll rinse it off with cold water, then I'll have a face wash with the remainder of the lather, and I will see you for the post shave. Do your thing, Alan. Right, icy cold Scottish water. Here we go, I'm going in. <laughs> yeah, the um the alum has taken away most of the slickness, but that's a nice shave. The cold water in the alum sort of out these little weepers down here, which is what it's for, so why not use it? Yeah, feels good, feels good. Okay, on to the post shave. Uh, and as it's a new year, we're gonna maybe have a little, um, yeah, a little something out of the hip flask. Uh, this is actually a new thing from Global Shave Club. Uh, and here it's here, look at this, this is beautiful. This was sent to me very kindly by Sheldon. Thank you, Sheldon. I hope you're well. Happy New Year to you. Uh, ice methylated aftershave. Globalshave.club. This is a limited edition. Uh, here's the ingredients on the back. Not much in there. Eight ounces of this. It's a, a nice little tin. Nice little hip flask. So we'll open it up. And uh, cheers. <laughs> Right, let's uh, yeah, it smells like a uh, spearmint. There's no uh, restrictor in there, so I'll have to be careful how much of wow. That's quite a lot. <laughs> That's quite a lot that's came out there. And it's green, it's green, so. Oh, good bit of sting on the neck there. Yeah, it's got a, it's got a mint. Get a spearmint vibe to it. 
little bit of menthol in there. Feels good. Yeah, what a lovely gift. There you are. Once that's finished, we can uh, you can fill it up with your favourite dessert. <laughs> I'm putting custard in mind. Um, and to finish it off, we're going to use the Crichton's for Men Post Shave Balm. Uh, Moisturises and soothes sensitive. Uh, this has a kind of got a spearmint, peppermint scent to it too, so just that much. Just to put the moisture back in. Yeah, good stuff. And there we have it. The first shave of 2020. There we go. Yeah, right, let's see these little weepers open up again now. <laughs> as soon as I put the aftershave in the bottom on. It looks okay. It feels okay actually. Skin's not hot or red or anything, so it feels good. Okay, let me show you what I've used quickly in this shave. The razor, very kindly sent uh, by Jan, the top, uh, the head here, the handle is the Gillette. Heritage, the new razor. Uh, this is the Gillette New. I think this is a long comb. Uh, great razor. Almost 80, 80 years old, 80 odd years old. Very good. Open comb, always causes me problems. Little weepers, there were little weepers down here, but um, yeah, the almond cold water sort out. But very good. Inside that, so thank you, Jan, uh, was a bluebird blade. Uh, and that was very kindly sent from Xiao uh, along with the soap which was Mogno soap which is Ach Brito, Ach Brito uh, from Portugal I'll put links to everything you can go and check them out uh, from the Black Frog House yeah he sent me the, the soap and the blades so thank you very much Xiao I appreciate that here's the soap here yeah like a bath soap but it's a shave soap and it worked really well just uh, applied it to the face then lathered it up with the brush uh, and the brush was the Yaki 24mm silver tip badger brush there that is there is that going to focus? there we go yeah so great little brush well, it's not so little but 24mm um, badger knot look at that superb very soft uh, three passes um, pickups and we applied the alum couple of little whoopers down here, one over here, still there. But the uh, the alum and the cold water sorted it out. If you've got little whoopers, people say, oh, it wasn't a perfect shave, it wasn't a perfect shave. Just use that. That's what it's for. If you've got little whoopers, this will clean them up. Um, use the tools you have. Uh, okay. Rinsed off with uh, cold water. The post shave was ice methylated aftershave from Global Shave Club. Or global shave thank you very much Sheldon for this nice little hip flask well it's not little actually eight ounces eight ounces of ice <laughs> fantastic uh, and finished it off with Crichton's for men post shave balm and that ladies and gents is the first shave of 2020 for Kerry shaves and uh, quite successful it wasn't perfect but uh, we used the tools that we have Oh, I forgot to say, soak the brush in the Mexico Super Soaker. Thank you, Johnny. Uh, yeah, so that's it. Yeah, so what I should have said if I had a shave on New Year's Eve was thank you very much to everyone that watches these videos. If you've taken time to watch, taken time to leave a comment, I thank you. If you're a new subscriber, if you've subscribed, thank you. Um, yeah, I really appreciate it. All the vendors that have sent me stuff, the viewers that have sent me stuff, uh, I really appreciate it. Uh, I'm coming up on 10,000 viewers. 10,000 viewers? 10,000 subscribers, sorry. Which is just phenomenal. I just I couldn't have dreamed of how many people would hit the subscribe button uh, on a shaving channel, but um, there you go. Uh, there's going to be a fantastic, superlative giveaway uh, if I reach 10,000. 
Um, so that's that's really all for me. Uh, I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful 2020. Um, I hope 2019 wasn't too bad, but I hope this year is even better. Uh, and I hope you can join me again for the next shaving video when that'll be. Who knows, it will be soon, I promise you that. Uh, until then, have yourselves a wonderful, wonderful time. Whatever you're doing, celebrate life, enjoy it. Life's short, but um, enjoy it while you're here. Uh, have some great shaves and I'll see you in the next video. Till then, take care. I love you all. See ya. <laughs>